Here to lead you on your lifelong journey is our Chancellor. Please join me in welcoming Chancellor Dorothy Leland. So how would I describe Chancellor Leland, the epitome of service above self? Inspiring, dedicated, passionate, courageous, uh, fearless, visionary. Feisty, bossy, silly. She's very smart. Um, I think she sees the big picture. She is very vigilant in what she believes in and her support for the university. She is extremely determined. Very empowering and a hard worker. I think first and foremost, the passion for our students. That passion has existed from day one. But more importantly, she's down to earth. And I really appreciate that about her. UC Merced is where it is today because of Chancellor Leland's passion drive and hard work to get us where we are. So when Chancellor Leland first started, it was really a critical time, I think, at the University of California Merced. You know, we were a few years old, but really growing into that next stage of the campus. And I think, you know, under Chancellor's leadership, we really took UC Merced to the next level and really being able to see this campus grow over the last eight plus years has just been absolutely phenomenal. Many people might not remember, but at UC Merced's very existence was questioned over and over again. And I think the legacy of Chancellor Leland uh, is that she really affirmed UC Merced's right to exist. And I think what we've found with Chancellor Leland is someone who was able to really embrace the mission and vision of this campus and was dedicated to finding a way for us to continue the trajectory that we had uh, to provide access to students from throughout the San Joaquin Valley in the state. I've always felt that Chancellor Leland operates from a position where if we act upon what's best for the students, we're always gonna be right. And I think that's uh, kind of an interesting way to think about how we operate and how we serve students and how we think about the institution. And it was her vision to see that need, um, both on the student side and on the research side, that we wouldn't be able to try to go over R1 without that. I think UC Merced has a special place in Chancellor Leland's heart. The students we serve, our faculty, the research that goes beyond the four walls in any building. What really drives her work is every interaction she has with the folks on our campus, our students, our staff, our faculty, from our police officers to the custodial staff. Every single interaction she soaks in what they're going through and she learns firsthand of the highs and lows of every crack on campus. And I think that has really helped further her mission to drive the university. This was about maybe my third time with Chancellor Leland. They had taken me to UC Merced Advocacy Day in Sacramento to advocate to our legislators. We had a lunchtime opportunity to meet with Ms. Josie, the senior advisor for Gavin Newsom's higher education plan and they were sitting at a table and I was kind of ushered over by Chancellor Leland to sit between her and Miss Josie. She introduced me as Gabriella from Oakland, who is a first year here at UC Merced. And the Chancellor being able to know my name, let alone where I'm from, out of thousands of kids who go to school here, is super impactful to me and meaningful. Being able to meet and sit down and be able to talk with her about what I want from college, my experiences, her experiences, is definitely touching and something that I'll take away with me forever. Chancellor Leland has had a profound impact, not only on myself, you know, developing as a young professional, but also on a personal level. Chancellor Leland is motivated just just by the need to do good, right? When you look at UC Merced, you look at people who their first in their family to go to college. You talk about a lot of communities of color that haven't been to college, right? So knowing the opportunities that she's had, she's always wanted to pay it forward. And that's what I think makes her a fierce advocate, right, in the heart of California. Chancellor Leland is the best friend of UC Merced. Uh, for me, I'm you know, really connected to UC Merced and I have this long relationship and so anyone who sort of feels this pride for UC Merced is somebody I can get on board with. She really embodies 
the spirit of UC Merced. She is the spirit of UC Merced. And she motivates me and she keeps me going because I can see how much she pushes through to keep the energy going and to keep the spirit alive. And that just completely invigorates me to do the same thing here in whatever capacity I can do it in as a graduate student. The 2020 project, I believe truly is, you know, Chancellor Leland. When I think about the 2020 project, I think Chancellor Leland. She truly had the vision to take us to really what is a critical next step, not only in the evolution of the University of California, Merced, but also for this region and where we can go next. Building the UC Merced was always going to be an exciting sort of effort, and I think the people who were involved at the beginning uh, were just consumed by this idea of building a new university California campus. And then the Great Recession happened, uh, and so that was definitely something that was challenging, and to have a leader come in that could help us navigate through this time and also keep us focused on this mission of building a research university for the San Joaquin Valley and the state was just the right leader at the right time. It's a great feeling to have as a mayor, a partner uh, in Chancellor Leland on campus. And that's truly what she's been. She has made it a priority to not just see the campus grow, but also do what she can to have the campus play a role in growing Merced, and in particular downtown Merced. And so it's not just the 2020 project, but it's been the Downtown Campus Center, which is directly across the street from City Hall, which in many ways is symbolic, I think, of the partnership between the campus and city government to be right across the street like that and to be partnered in that way and and she you know she's been front and center in all of those things I think Dorothy has laid the groundwork and she's proven that UC Merced is a viable option for a UC campus no longer will we have to fight so hard for finances or for things that we need to grow our campus. And I think the bottom line is that the impact on the Central Valley is going to be greater than anybody ever envisioned. And, and I think Dorothy deserves a lot of credit for making that happen. When Chancellor wanted to do 2020, federal would not help, state would not help county had no money, so she brilliantly did this 2020 project with almost nothing. Anywhere I go, I hear about UC Merced, and they say, oh, that lady is doing a good job. And I say, yeah, that lady is Chancellor Dorothy Lane. <laughs> Chancellor's legacy, what I call the Leland legacy, goes beyond 2020, beyond the 13 new buildings going up. I think it lives within our students, our faculty, our alumni, our campus community. I think her pioneering spirit of creating something new, embarking on something different, is, is her legacy. I think the Leland legacy has taught us all how to persist, to defy all odds, and that's something that will be forever and you can't take that away. I think that's her greatest accomplishment. Thank you, Chancellor Leland. It was an honor to be part of the growth of this incredible campus. Thank you for everything that you've done for our students, children of the Valley, and their families. Thank you for being such a strong partner with the city of Merced for being such a wonderful friend. For your commitment to our students. Thank you, Chancellor Leland, for giving me a chance at higher education. Thank you for being my mentor and believing in me. For your spirit and your strength. And for showing me what it means to put self below service and to make sure that everyone else is okay. Thank you. Thank you for being everything UC Merced needed you to be.